Hey guys, Will here from Power Driven Diesel. We had a customer in Hawaii send us some 75 pound overstock beehive springs um, that were ultimately obtained from eBay. Um, he sent them to us so that we could throw them in this little uh, spring tester machine and uh, see what the actual seat and open pressures are to, uh, you know, compare it to like a 60 pound spring and then a true beehive spring. What I have here is we already ran one of our 60 pound springs. This is a Cummins spring. It's 60 pounds over stock. Stock springs about 90 to 100 PSI or 90 to 100 uh, pounds of force on the seat. A uh, 60 pound is 60 more than that. So 150 to 160. And uh, when we tested our spring, we ended up with 155 pounds. So it's right in that range. Um, we then put this eBay spring in here and uh, we've got it set and at the factory installed height, which is about 1.9250. Um, we're measuring about 159, 160. So it's uh, within a couple pounds of a, of a true Cummins Marine 60 pounds. So it's definitely not 75 over stock. The other thing I noticed is it doesn't have a beehive shape. Now the beehive shape is supposed to help with harmonics at high RPM. Um, it, it lightens the top of the spring, so it does better at RPM. And as you can see, uh, maybe we can cut in a little close here. Um, a, a beehive is fat at the bottom and, and looks like a beehive. It narrows at the top. Uh, these eBay ones definitely are not a beehive. They just look to me like a, maybe a Chinese copy of a common 60 pound spring. Surface finish isn't as nice. Looks like they've skipped the uh, micro polishing or the bead blasting process. Um, reliability, we have no idea. I've never tested them, but uh, let's put on the, the spring dyno here and uh, see how it does. So we got a dial indicator set up. Let's do 100,000 lift now. Now our 60 pound did 155, so they're really close. There's the 100 and we are at about 165. The true 60 pounder did 170. So it's five behind is all. Still within the margin of measuring on this type of device. There's 200 thousandths lift. It looks like we are at about 182. A little farther behind. Let's do the next step. Looks like we're about Mm, I'd say really close to 200. The 60 pounder was at 212. So about 12 pounds behind there. And now we're at about, I'd say 219. And the 60 pounders at 225 there. Okay, now we are at, looks like about 238. 60 pounder is 245, so it's, you know, within a few pounds, it's a little less. Let's do the final here. Looks like it's right about 260 on the dot. The 60 pounder was 262. From this test, we can tell these 75 pound eBay beehive springs are really, from what I can tell, they look like a, an imported 60 pound spring. They're not a beehive. They're just a 60 pound spring labeled as a 75 pound over stock. Um, reliability wise, we have no idea. They're, they're not uh, micro polished like the uh, Cummins springs. Generally that stress relieves the spring and makes them more reliable. Um, but until we put one through, you know, a million miles of testing like Cummins, you wouldn't really know. Um, is the $40 difference worth it? I would rather have the Cummins spring in my truck. Um, we've had other imported springs we've tested on 24 valves brakes, so um, I, you know, makes me nervous to try imported springs uh, on an engine. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're new here, like, subscribe, follow our channel, and if you have any ideas on things you want us to test or show or talk about, uh, leave it in the comments below, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.